London is the capital of the United Kingdom and England. The city stretches approximately 44.3 kilometers along the River Thames. Around 8.5 million people live there, of which about 3.3 million in the 13 city districts of Inner London. London is thus the most populous city and the largest metropolitan region in Europe, with 13.6 million people in the London metropolitan area. With up to 18 million tourists from abroad, London is the most visited city in the world. Both the population, commuters and tourists want to travel by public transport in and through London. In addition to taxis and tube trains, there is a dense bus network. More than 9,500 buses encompassing more than 770 routes. Transport for London, TFL, operates the world's largest public AVLC system, which transports over 7 million passengers quickly and safely every day. This intermodal transport control system is the most advanced IT system existing. Simon Reid, you are Director of Bus Systems and Technology within Transport for London. TfL is the major operator within the London bus system. Transport for London is the transport authority for all of the Greater London area. It's all 33 councils and it's a geographical area that's largely uh, enclosed by the M25 motor. We're organised to deliver the Mayor's transport policy. So there are units that specialise in running the underground and there's units that specialise in running each of the individual services that we're responsible for. London contracts out all of the management of its bus services. So Transport for London do all the planning, we decide where the routes are going, the frequency, the capacity, and we tender that to uh, any number of bus operators. And the bus operating companies provide all the resources, that's the buses, the drivers, schedules and so on. And they operate the bus service to our standards. There are 27 bus operators operating in London. Some of them are owned by different groups, so they come as a collective. Um, our smallest bus operating company has five buses and our largest one has just over two and a half thousand. The biggest challenge that we face at the moment is increased congestion on the roads and keeping our reliability and bus speeds uh, to the level of expectation, the level of contract. Uh, there is increased road usage, but it's actually driving bus speeds down through congestion and through less road space being available. So that's our biggest challenge. Um, we use our uh, iBus system uh, to monitor all of our routes and each of our bus operators has full control facilities. They can see where all of their buses are 24-7 um, and can see how they're operating and what performance they're generating. And the service controllers, we have 42 service control centres around London and through those service control centres the bus operators manage the routes, manage the bus services on them and take um, various intermediate actions that they need to to deliver the service we work on. Within London, we couldn't operate the bus network in the way that we do without having uh, good, effective ITS systems underneath our operation. It's installed on every single bus, and through that we make sure that we have a consistent, clear view uh, of the same service for every passenger that gets on the vehicle, regardless of the operator that's actually operating the service. But it also means that we have consistency from data. Having implemented the solution and getting the entire fleet fitted by 2009, um, we've gone on and expanded the fleet by a further 1,500 vehicles and we've expanded the use of the system to become um, what's seen as uh, probably one of the most accurate real-time information systems anywhere in the world. When we originally procured the system, it was purely focused on the contracted bus network. However, since that we've realised the capabilities of it and we've now installed it on all of our um, Thames Clipper River services as well and are possibly looking to expand it to operate on our tram network. The Trapeze solution has enabled us to deal with uh, 
a lot of problems that have occurred in the network over the last 10 years. It's enabled us to have a common platform on every single vehicle, which has given us uh, the same look and feel to the service that we provide to all customers. No matter whose vehicle they get on, it still recognises a London bus because as the tape ticketing solution, it has the same information solution. It's available 24-7 and it's available for 364 days of the year on every single bus. Yes, Stagecoach London is one of 19 large operators within London, operating approximately 15% of the London bus network. We operate approximately 1,100 buses, spread over about 100 routes. To control those, we have a central iBus control room, which has 24 workstations, and a team of 96 controllers, working seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The iBus system allows us to monitor our services in real time, and allows us also to look at historic reports which we can plan for the future. Traffic congestion is our major challenge due to incidents, accidents or roadworks on the London bus network. Delays build very quickly during these incidents and our team needs to be able to react and manage our services during times of disruption. Customer information is vital in our daily business with advances in modern technology. Customers are not content to just sit on buses in traffic and not know what's going on. Therefore, the information the controllers take from the iBus system, they pass on to the drivers, who in turn passes on to the customers on their bus. We also update Centrecom and London buses with route-specific information, and they in turn update live travel information systems that the customers use, so they can make more informed decisions about their journey. The trapeze system gives the controllers a whole raft of information about how the buses are running compared to schedule and headway at quick glance. They can also look at more detailed information about individual buses and it also predicts journeys in the future that allow controllers to make more informed decisions during times of disruption. It also gives us a chance to communicate with our buses through the voice communication or text messaging facility. The text messages the drivers can choose from a group of predefined messages that they send through to the controller. Controllers can respond with free type messages that the bus receives the next time it stops. With voice communication, we can talk to individual buses, groups of buses, whole routes, or our whole company, which makes voice communication very efficient, which you need when controlling bus services in London.